Androcles and the Lion, based on a story by Aesop, retold by Russell Pinter. A long time ago, there was a man called Androcles. He was very poor, but he was kind. Androcles worked for a rich man named Brutus outside the city of Rome. Brutus was mean and made his slaves work very hard. Wash faster, scrap faster, mop faster. But Brutus never paid Androcles, and all he got was one piece of dry bread a day. One night, Androcles had enough, and so he ran away into the dark, spooky forest. Suddenly, Androcles heard a loud roar from behind a bush. He peeped behind it and saw an enormous lion. Androcles bolted, but the lion didn't move. He just sat there as still as stone. Why, why didn't you chase me? Androcles asked. I can't run, <laughs> sniffed the lion. I can't even walk. There's a thorn in my paw and it really stings. Uh, oh, you poor thing. Let me help. This might hurt. And Androcles pulled out the thorn as fast as he could. Arr! All done, all done. Thank you, cried the lion. I'm Leo. Since then, Androcles and Leo became best friends. One morning, Androcles came upon a soldier in the forest. The soldier unrolled some paper and hung it on a tree. And Androcles gasped! It was a wanted poster of Androcles. He was wanted for running away. Suddenly, the soldier turned around and spotted Androcles. Hey, it's you! Stop right there, he yelled. Before Androcles had a chance to react, the soldier grabbed him and threw him in his wagon. Androcles terrified. To Rome's arena, boomed the soldier, where you will fight the lions. In Rome, the soldier dragged Androcles down a long, dark tunnel and pushed him through large steel doors into the middle of the arena. Thousands and thousands of people sat all around him in the gallery. They cheered, Bring the lion! Good luck, lad! You need it! And Androcles stood rooted to the ground. Just then, a gate in the side wall opened, and an enormous lion charged out. And Androcles closed his eyes and waited for his painful death. Suddenly, Androcles felt a wet, cold look on his face. He opened his eyes to see. Leo! Androcles, it's you! I was caught last night and they brought me here to fight, reported Leo happily. Androcles hugged his friend. The crowd couldn't believe it! He's a hero! He tamed the lion! For Androcles' bravery, the emperor decided to set him free together with Leo. Everyone buzzed to see the new show in town. Androcles and the friendly lion. The end.